So today we're doing things a little bit different. Um, I am Diane. I'm the other half of Midlife Harvest and we're going to be inside the kitchen talking about vanilla. Now um, we've been making vanilla for a few years now, um, giving it as gifts mainly. And I have to say it does look pretty impressive making your own homemade vanilla and giving it an um, it's just a nice way to be able to give a nice gift that um, is homemade and a lot of people don't know how to do it. And quite honestly, it's very easy. Um, so there's only a few things that you need. Firstly, you're gonna need some vanilla beans. I would not recommend buying the vanilla from, a, a vanilla bean from the grocery store. Um, you, can, you can buy those in the spice aisle, but the cost for making this project, it, it's, it, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you can go to Amazon or you can go to some other online retailer and get your vanilla beans. What you would, you would, I would recommend getting a grade B. The grade Bs are actually used for making vanilla extract and the one that we actually got in the mail even had the, a different recipe that you can follow right there on um, the package. But the grade A is more pristine so you'll be spending extra money for something that you don't need at all because we're going to chop these up. Um, so there's two different types of um, vanilla extract that I made last year. These two bottles right here are from November of 2023. This is the first year that I made two different types of vanilla. I made a single fold vanilla. This is the same type of vanilla that you would buy in the grocery store. Um, not the imitation extract, but the actual um, vanilla extract. If you bought it in the grocery store, that is typically a single fold um, potency or recipe. Um, the other one that I made over here is a double fold. So this has twice as many vanilla beans or just about twice as many as you would get in the single fold. So it is more potent, more robust. Um, bakeries like it and um, it's something that typically you haven't cooked with unless you make it. I've actually never cooked with it so I'll be interested to see how it goes. But from here all you need to make vanilla in the future at your home is the vanilla beans, some type of 80 proof liquor, in this case we have a vodka, and then lastly thyme. And that is what you need. These have been sitting here, or, or I guess we'll call it um, steeping, since November of 2023. So I'll show you what I had to do in order to make this, and you can do it at home as well. Today's recipe, we're going to start with the standard um, 750 milliliter size of vodka. Um, we are going to measure our amount of vanilla beans that we have. This is just the standard vanilla beans that I got from Amazon. And we're gonna open this up and I have a standard kitchen scale that we're gonna use to weigh the vanilla beans out just so we get the right combination. We don't want it too weak and we don't want it to uh, have too much alcohol flavor. That wouldn't be good on the other side as well. Now that I have the package opened, we're gonna go ahead and weigh out the vanilla beans and they are very kind of dried and um, shriveled up actually. That first container we only got 2.9 and I we are using 750 milliliters of vodka which is about three cups. So the standard recipe for single fold vanilla is one ounce of beans to approximately one cup of liquor. I'm going to go ahead and weigh the next one out to get to what I need is two and a, excuse me, three and a half ounces. Mm. Oh, not bad. Okay, so the recipe that we're following today says to cut it. Last time I went ahead and cut kept the vanillas beans whole in here. Um, this recipe says to go ahead and cut them. So we're going to try something different this year. See if the, see if we notice a difference between the whole beans and 
the partial beans to be continued. So I'm just gonna cut them in half. Ooh, my, I can't do that. Okay, we're gonna, so that was really hard to cut. These are B grade vanilla beans and they are kind of uh, withered or dried out. So I'm gonna see if I can do fewer. Um, but now I understand why people actually use kitchen scissors doing this as well. But it looks like smaller amounts are gonna work. So I'm just gonna continue on with that. In our household, Besides gifts, my daughter has really enjoyed cooking and baking with this throughout the years. And now she's continuing the same tradition as well, making her own vanilla. Um, so be careful when you start. You're, you might be starting a family tradition of creating vanilla from scratch for holidays. Okay, so this is about done. Earlier, I told you that we made single fold and double fold vanilla. This time we're kind of making a hybrid of the two. We are going to just put as much vodka as we can put in this quart container. Um, I want to make sure that the vanilla beans are completely covered. So cutting them in half is was actually beneficial in that. Um, sometimes with the larger one, if you don't have enough liquid, your vanilla beans are sticking out. You do not want that up at all. Your vanilla beans can mold that way. You wanna make sure that everything is below the surface of the liquor. Um, okay, so we have the vanilla beans we're starting. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this, pour it in. So as I'm pouring this in, I will tell you that the last ingredient time so this should be sitting for six months to a year. And in that time, the color will deepen. Ooh, my, my, my. That was perfect. Wow, not a drop went to waste. Okay, so time. So we have all the ingredients, but the last one is time. So we are gonna let this sit to six months to one year. Um, in, the, in that interim, we are going to shake it occasionally when we remember, um, or the recipe says, or this particular recipe says daily. That's not gonna happen here. Um, so whenever we remember, hopefully we're talking maybe once a month, that was what we were kind of settled on. But we're gonna let this sit and come back to it, and then you can see the difference. But from right now, Compared to the one that was been sitting since November, you can tell that you cannot see through this one at all. It is completely darkened. And then the one we just made, you can see the liquid through. So um, it definitely deepens as it sits. For context, this one has been steeping for 10 months. And this one, just for a few minutes, so you can see all the way through it. You can see that the clear liquid, but over time, it should be progressing to something deeper color like this. Now, once we do have the vanilla that has already been steeped and it is ready to go, then we can move on to bottling. And there's so many different options for bottling. Now we're gonna be moving on to bottling the vanilla. So this isn't ready yet. This one is. So we have different bottles. So at first, when we made our first batch, we actually had it in something bigger than this. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to work with. Um, so we progressed to something along this line, which we thought would be way more convenient to get in and out of the cupboard. We didn't have to have an extra tall one. Um, what we did find is that it doesn't seal 100%, so it does dribble. Um, it looks great, and as a gift, it looks very um, elegant, but functional-wise, it wasn't what we were um, hoping it to be. So we're actually going to be doing this little bottle with a screw top. And the benefit of this, the amber color, is that the light isn't going to penetrate 
the um, vanilla so it shouldn't deteriorate it over time. We've actually been keeping this in a dark spot or a dark place. Um, so the amber quality or the amber color of the glass is going to be beneficial in the long run. So we actually have a nice little funnel here. Oh, it doesn't fit. That's a problem. As you get, as you guys heard, it doesn't fit. But I have a plastic one that I can somewhat fold. Um, Actually, it works pretty well. I don't know if you can see all the way through, but it worked very well. But now that I'm looking at this, how am I gonna get the cut vanilla pieces out of here? I'm gonna need way more hands. And something that I can strain with as well, just to ensure that's the ticket. What we're gonna do in order to make this easier for me to pour is I'm gonna strain the vanilla beans out of the liquid and then I'm going to be pouring it into the container. And we have one handy right over here. And this is a wide mouth jar, so I'm gonna be using, hopefully, the wide mouth funnel with the strainer. Oh, this all seems to be working. Okay. So hopefully I don't spill anything. Everybody cross your fingers. Oh my. It smells kind of good. Now, what is left in this jar is just used vanilla beans. So I've actually seen some recipes that we can turn this into something. So look forward to that in the future. I'm possibly turning it into um, vanilla sugar. Never tried it before, but it does sound interesting. Back to our vanilla here. So now that we strained it, we are just going to pour it right in there. I think I wasted a drop. Oh, just did. Okay, so that is one gift. The other thing that we need on here is a label. So we, I've printed out before and just modified labels, just extra ones that we have laying around the house, because you, know, you, you can buy those Vista print um, different label labels, but it seems like you never really use all of them. So I was actually using those leftover ones to create labels for the vanilla. Um, and actually they didn't, they didn't turn out too bad. So um, stay tuned in the future. I can be possibly having a video on the labelings or what we put on the vanilla or gifts. So um, hopefully you found this interesting. Um, useful and possibly give you some courage to make your own vanilla in the future. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, even though it is a little it is a little different than ones we've done in the past, please click the like button and you can subscribe. We try to put videos out regularly in the summer, um, but hopefully you'll if you click the button you'll keep informed with what's going on. Um, hope to see you next time. Bye.